Hey, Bayside, happy Thanksgiving. It's Ray and Carol. And um, so here's the deal. We're going to do a little thing on Thanksgiving called The Three. And kind of what I'm believing is this. Gratitude is the healthiest human emotion. I mean, you read the psalmist, when you are grateful, you are joyful, and you are emotionally healthy. And so we're trying to trigger something in every single home in our church. And if you want to forward this, in every everybody gets to where every single person around your Thanksgiving table shares three things they're thankful for. And it'll, it'll, by the way, it'll actually create conversation instead of people just sitting there staring at their turkey. Okay. And so... Um, fortunately, my wife's going to start this thing, so she's going to share three things she's grateful for. Here we go. Yes. Well, the first thing, of course, that I'm grateful for is Ray and doing. Oh, good! You read the notes I wrote <laughs> for you. That's good. Doing ministry with him for the last 34 years has been awesome. And the second thing I'm grateful for is my four kids, who are now all adults, but um, just love what I see in them, and I love watching them make decisions that are uh, positive ones. And then the third thing that I'm thankful for is you. And not coming from a church-going Christian background, um, being a part of the body of Christ and being a part of this family um, of believers here at Bayside is one of the greatest things. And I hope that you take advantage of that because um, a lot of us don't come from backgrounds that were really you know, church-going, healthy, Christian values, family type stuff. And, and for me personally, it's, it's changed my life to decide I'm going to be a part of a church and be a part of the body of believers where I share my life, they share their lives with me. I'm in a, I've always been in a small group. It's an awesome thing. Um, and I'm just thankful for being a part of a church that is super generous in times of need, like these holidays, where we have all these compassion projects you can get involved in. You, and and I just, I'm just i thankful for you because you guys jump in. You share your compassion with others. We've seen that demonstrated at Santa Rosa. We've seen it demonstrated in so many ways. And um, so I'm just thankful to be a part of a church that is extremely generous. That's right. Um... And let me, give you, let me give you my three. Other than my family, um, the three things I'm grateful for about Bayside is this. Number one is I want to thank you for the way you love God. Okay? The Bible says, love the Lord, you got with all your hearts. And I actually think then you go, how do you spot? So, you know, just because somebody says they love God doesn't necessarily, I mean, a lot of Christian Taliban members run around going, I love God, and they just mistreat everybody. Uh, you love God and one of the reasons that's seen is this, you unleash compassion. And I don't know a more grateful, generous hearted group of people that I've ever been around. I mean, it is an honor to be part of this thing. Okay. That's, that's number one. The second thing I appreciate is this. I appreciate the way you love us. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you have been our church family. You have loved us. You have loved our kids. Um, you, the, I mean, the notes of affirmation that I, it has been like getting to belong to a church family that has just been embarrassingly cool to us in terms of how much you've loved us. And the third reason I'm thankful for is this, to do this, I have to back up a little bit. Early, or about two years into our church, we're meeting in an elementary school, and this old guy named Larry Crum comes up. He was an old guy then, he's an older guy now. And Larry Crum comes up to me, and he's just one of those guys, been in church forever, all that kind of stuff, helping us launch a new church. You know, he's just he's a serving kind of guy. And he comes up kind of a little bit gruff voice, and he goes, Hey Ray. I go, Yeah, Larry. He goes, You know what I love about this church? I go, No, he goes. I've never been in anything like it. He goes, we keep dreaming stuff up, and it happens. Mm. And I went, I love being part of a place where you can dream some God-sized dreams, okay? Impacting Santa Rosa, launching a church, multiplying churches, leading people to Christ, discipling people, healing marriages. Okay? I know five marriages that have been he that were divorced that are healed and back together just because of Bayside. It is, I've, it's that you've been able to dream some dreams, and it's almost like you cannot outdream God. And what that means is you have to have a group of people around you that actually like dreaming. And they don't mind us dreaming, and they come along for the ride. 
And um, all of eternity, I think, we'll be sharing stories about the stuff God did here in us and through us. And so on behalf of Carol, myself, um, Mark, Scott, Christy, Leslie, Kayla, and, um, and our dog Max, we just want to say <laughs> we hope you guys have a very, very good day. At your table, each share the three. God bless you. Have a good day.